Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Mark Hughes from Funky Social Media. I'm on the Business Biscotti uh, networking site here at the moment, which I'm a member of Business Biscotti, as I uh, love the idea of networking and an avid networker. Now on uh, Business Biscotti, I set up this group called uh, Online Marketing on a Shoestring. Basically a little group there where I share tactics and tricks on how to uh, add a new dimension to your online marketing on a shoestring budget or even in some cases completely free. Now there's a lot of buzz going around at the moment about this new site called Pinterest which is at Pinterest.com which is over there. Uh, and just quickly, not going to go into a lot of detail, but Pinterest is a image and photo sharing site, social media site where you can pin and other people's photographs and images, they can pin yours, they can like them, comment on them, and it's just a great way to engage your audience. From a business perspective, you can add, um, basically what they allow you to do is add storyboards. You can build a little storyboard around your business, especially if you might be um, in the retail markets, say for instance doing jewelry, add some really cool uh, images of your jewels and uh, necklaces, rings, etc. And then it allows you to also insert a link in in that particular uh, image and that obviously can take people to go and view and possibly buy that on your website. So anyway, without further ado, um, there's been a question on, well I pose this question, do you want to know how to add Pinterest to your business fan page? At the moment, Pinterest only allows you to add your Pinterest profile to your personal Facebook page. So they don't allow you to actually add it to your business fan page. So see here on my funky social media uh, fan page, business fan page, I've added Pinterest onto my fan page, which Pinterest at the moment doesn't have any way or allowing, doesn't allow you to do that. So how do we get around this? Well, I've uh, had uh, Sonia who's joined the group. She says, hi Mark, I've actually just joined Pinterest. Uh, could, you advise, could you advise on how to add my Facebook page? Well, sure, this is a shout out. Thank you for joining the group, Sonia. I'm gonna show you how to get around this. So, first of all, what you need to do is you need to log into your Pinterest account, obviously request your invite. Once you get your uh, invite approved, you log into your account. And it's essentially what we're gonna need is we're going to need your Pinterest URL or domain name. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to populate your Pinterest, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you hover over your name and you go to settings, we want to locate that domain name. And if you have a look here, username, you've got http pinterest.com forward slash username. You can set that by adding your own unique username. So that could be your company name, could be your personal name, and could be keyword related also. So in this case, I've gone keyword related, and mine is Social Media UK. Right, so let's go back to click on boards. Um, and up top here, you'll see that my Pinterest domain name is being shown there. So literally right click, copy that. Then you want to hop over to Facebook and um, obviously I've added mine to Funky Social Media already so I'm just going to use a little test page. Just ignore this at the top. I haven't published it because I haven't added anything yet and I'm just using this for demo purposes. What you want to do then is you want to go into the search bar at the top here within Facebook search and just type in a static iframe tab and it's going to give you a whole lot of options but this one here is with 41 million users is the one that I've picked I'm sure it will work with any but I've found this one to work the best and you literally click on that and that will bring you up to the screen here where it says install the static iframe tab app to your Facebook page so what does that mean if we go back here in the menu below my profile image you can see I've got pin my pics which is the iframe tab app that uh, I'm referring to in the static iframe. So that will all become clear as we go further through. Click on install page tab. That's going to say, right, now you want to add that particular iframe tab to your page. So if you've just got one page, you're just going to find one page, which is your business page here. I've got a few, obviously, in the profession that I'm in. So let me just see if I can find the one that I want to install it on. If I click on that one, it's then going to say add static iframe page. Yes, you're going to click on that. And that's going to bring it through and it's going to automatically add the iframe tab here with a little welcome. Now we can change that welcome uh, name to anything we want. As in mine, I've chosen pin my pics. 
uh, with this one um, we can show, I'll show you now shortly how to do that so what we do is we click on that welcome and that's going to bring us through to the the admin and uh, interface where we can now can you see I've already for demo I've already uh, did a little bit of a demo run on this one so let's go away from this page because it's already showing me that I've added it to it so I'm going to go back Click back on iframe and I'll add it to another page. Right, so install page tab, locate a page, let's find another demo page. Let's go deal of the day, let's go just deal of the day. Add static iframe tab, right, and we're here. Okay, so this one's been published, but there you go, it's been added. Welcome, I'm gonna click on that, and you're gonna be presented with the admin interface right which is there okay so it's showing um, your page because it's been published it'll show you what your page is about um, but we're not too concerned about that all we need to do is you scroll down forget about Facebook fan gate bug and all that kind of thing you just want to find where it says page source so you're gonna click on the little URL select there and this is where you're gonna enter your URL to load in the iframe window which in this case is your Pinterest URL that we grabbed early on. So literally, let's get rid of that and you copy and paste that in. Um, Pinterest um, it populates both in width and in height. So you need to give it in, if you've got a, a variety of storyboards, you need to make sure that the height of your page is uh, high enough so it accommodates all your storyboards. Now, it's just, and I've worked out that the optimal height is around about 1200 px, which stands for pixels. Um, do not tick, leave this unchecked, this or untick this hard scroll bars, because Pinterest goes from left to right and it goes wide as well as high. So if you click hide scroll bars, any um, <clears throat> boards that you've set up that go wide and to the right are going to be cut off and your visitors will not be able to view them. Right, so then we go through here, um, non-fan page sources, friend gate, form gate, just ignore all of that. It's really not important. Um, the very next thing that you want to do is to set your tab name. So you can leave it as welcome, but that's not really telling people what this uh, particular tab is on your menu. So I would go for, you know, in my case, I've, I've gone for pin my pick, or if you want to make it, you could go Pinteresting, Pinteresting, um, pretty much anything that you want to do. Or uh, pin my jewels if you're a jewel jewelry um, business, um, etc., etc. Spelling's a bit up the up the creek, but anyway, things like that. Then you can just literally leave everything else, and then you just click on Save Settings. Right, that's now saved. And then all you need to do is scroll back up to the top of the page and just view tab. And voila, there you have it. You have Pinterest, which has now been added to your Facebook business fan page. And in here you've got, I haven't populated all my boards because I've just recently <coughs> joined Pinterest myself, but I've had a bit of activity going on. You can see that all there. And if you want to go back to settings and change it, you just click on settings and that's going to redirect you back to that so if you needed to add some extra height because you've got a hell of a lot of uh, boards you can just change your height there if you've done with that you just hit save settings once again and then just go back to view tab and that'll update within this interface also a little cool feature here as once you start getting some activity with, within Facebook on your Pinterest page you'll start noticing that you'll start getting some activity here in your stats on views visit likes etc which is a fantastic, um, really a great way of um, you know seeing that people are engaging with you. I've rambled on enough. Thank you very much. That is essentially how you add um, Pinterest to your business fan page. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, uh, email me at support at funkysocialmedia.com or come in and pop me a post, like my page, and pop me a comment or a post here on my funky social media management Facebook page. Thank you very much. This is Mark Hughes signing out and I will come back to you with some more cool videos soon. Bye now.